everyone, this is Sassy of World Trade, so I'm back and welcome to my world. So I'm back here at CHU, Cassie of All Trades, Hair University. So today I'm actually just gonna discuss about small, um, small things. No, not really small things. I'm actually gonna discuss about myself. So I just wanna share like my experience as a hairstylist with you guys on like how I started. So first I moved here in the States, here in California, I think um, December 2014. So, yun yung time na nakarating ko lang dito. So, that time, I actually don't know what I'm going to do when I moved here. So, I moved here with my husband. So, hindi ko talaga alam kung kung anong gagawin ko dito. But, ever since, there's a lot of people telling me like, Hey, you're actually good at makeup. You're actually good on like doing your, you know, like your your face, like your makeup, your like your beauty conscious or something like that. So I, I'm always aware na sobrang sobrang beauty conscious ako. But before, akala ko aaktehan lang yun eh. Like how everyone like just you know see me like. Oh. Ang arty lang, lalo na mga makeup or whatever. Pero, alam mo yun. Pero, I, I never thought that it's gonna be my passion talaga. So, actually, I started here. I actually started just doing makeup first. So, I did freelance makeup artistry. So, mga bridal makeups and like updos and all that. And then, I went to school for hair. So I went to school in two schools time. Two schools here kasi yung first school ko nagsara when I'm about to graduate. Sobrang bummer. So sobrang bummer pala. So I went to Marinello School of Beauty in Santa Clara, California dito. And then bummer talaga kasi nag-close yung patapos na ako, mag-graduate na ako. Two months na lang eh, mag-graduate na si madam. Pero, yeah, I don't know what happened, but like, they got in trouble for something, which I really don't know what it is, but I would, I, I wanna tell you, I have like some kind of like, you know, idea on market. Pero, hindi, I don't wanna say anything bad about the school or anything na hindi ako sure na information. So, basta nagsara sila. So, that time, I went to a different school, which is the Salon Professional Academy in Westgate, Saratoga, here. In, um, here to, in California. So, dun ko yung kin kinuntinue yung pag-aaral ko ng cosmetology. But, ang bummer dun, like when you transfer from school to school, I only carry the half of my hours. So, isipin nyo, kung mga 1,400 hours ka na, alam mo yun, tapos lilipad ka, tapos nakayari lang 700. Alam mo yun? Aww! Parang, oh sh... Alam mo yun, yung parang nakaka nakakapaglumo. So, it's such a test for me that time. Kung gusto ko pa ba mag-aaral ng cosmetology kasi naman parang mag parang hindi naman magsisimula from the start but the whole time ang daming mawawala diba? so I have to start like again half of my hours so I need to stay there for like 6 months or something so medyo natagalan yung pag-aaral ko but I think on a good side I actually love it because two different schools actually cover two different type of clientele. So, kung nag-wonder kayo kung bakit I was talking about clientele. So, the, the schools here, you go on like a practical salon too. So, you're gonna have like a salon set up after a certain amount of hours. 
pwede ka nang magkaroon ng client. Pero mas mura yung charges nila. Kasi alam ng mga client na student yung mga gagawa ng buhok mo. So, the students here actually have like in-person experience of like cutting hair and all, and all that about hair. Bago pa kami, grumadoy. So, meron na kami mga client help even before I graduate. So, meron pa ako mga client na I actually followed me like to like where I'm going to be working. Hanggang ngayon, meron pa nga akong mga client hanggang ngayon na galing pa sa school ko before. So, I'm really grateful to all my clients that followed me na sobrang loyal from me. Sobrang loyal to me. And all the ones na they've seen me grow like throughout these years. I really want to say thank you for for all your support kasi yun yung mga clients na OG talaga na I think like I'm just really grateful because I think they've seen something in me na kahit nasa school pa lang ako they actually followed me like you know wherever I am so sobrang thankful ako kasi I have so many clients that followed me from school and I have so many clients na hanggang ngayon kasama ko pa rin like even it's been like four years or more na nag-work ako sobrang happy yung journey ko like from like an assistant stylist to like a co-owner of the salon sobrang happy ako kasi there's a lot of clients na nandyan for me na sumusuporta pa rin from the very start so, so, so super 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 thank you for everyone and yun nga so back to like the school Back to the school, so Maranello focus on like technical things like cutting or like yung mga kalayin talaga kasi medyo older so may mga perm, may mga dun ko yung naranasan yung mga manicure, pedicure I don't do nails right now but like we have to study all of that in school so wala ka talagang choice kung ayaw mo Pag manicure, pedicure, hindi ka graduate. <laughs> yeah. Kasi may hours yun eh. Kada isang particular service or something, you have to finish like 50 hours or whatever. Basta may ganun. You have to do it. So, hindi lahat ng yun, kailangan mong gawin. Tapos pwede ka na magiging choosy after you graduate. Ganun yun. Pero yun nga. I did all of that at school and then when I moved to the Salon Professional Academy dun naman na focus yung color techniques ko so before sa Marinello puro mga cutting perm like when it comes to puro book ano mga book techniques, lahat ng mga nasa, nasa book, cosmetology book, we really follow it one by one. Tapos, dito naman sa the Salon Professional Academy, I learned about hair color a lot. Kasi yung clientele naman nila is more diverse. So, may mga taong mga bata or middle age or something, older. And then, you get to like try like few different things like color, like fun colors, like vibrant colors, rainbow colors, all of that. So, so since it's a Red Ken Professional Academy too, so I learn about Red Ken a lot. So if you want to ask me about Red Ken, I actually have a good, a good, um, what do you call that, background on it. So, ayun na. So, when it comes to color naman, like this school trained me a lot on like color, color applications, different, you know, how to like properly like apply something and all that. So I'm really grateful then na nangyari yun. Maybe like things really happen for a reason because God is like preparing you for something. So siguro gusto lang ni God na prepare daw and all the aspects about here. So maybe that's the reason why it happened also. So. At least after that, like it worked out naman because when I'm assisting and like when I become a hairstylist 
or you know and all that like i actually have like the background i'm actually super ready when i actually work by myself so sobrang feeling ko i'm confident na natalakay naman lahat ng mga issues or like a lot of topics na sobrang importante kapag nasa salon ka na mag-isa mo nagtatrabaho so sobrang thankful ako na dalawa yung school na napasukat ko pero yun nga I started as a freelance makeup artist and then moved to like um, and then went to school for cosmetology to do hair and then what else so yun so and then over the years I just um you know try to improve myself like from assisting and then become my own like you know become a, my own stylist my own you know worker and then right now I am like one of the owners of the Lerman Salon so I'm a co-owner so I own the part of it I, I don't want to say like the how much do I own but so I'm just so happy because like through the years I'm so grateful that God has been giving me this opportunity. Pero nga, ito nangyari na yung na yung um what do you call it? COVID is really a tough thing for us too. For us business owners, kasi you have to think about. Ito naman yung natutunan ko naman when it comes to being a business owner is hindi na pagiging stylist eh kasi when you're like doing a hair stylist thing you're just focused on yourself you're just focused on your client ito it's a different level kasi parang ikaw na yung ikaw yung nagmamanage ng business mo and there's a lot of people na maapektuhan like when you like just make like a wrong decision so this COVID-19 really really tested me and my patience and my, I don't know. Sorry guys, like the phone's ringing. Someone's calling. Maybe just I'll just answer it real quick, okay? A few moments later. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back because I don't know. I have to see. I, one of the things is I'm so early today because I have a super early client that begged me to like do her hair kasi may interview siya today so kailangan kong gumising na maaga ngayon but we're actually just about to open the salon in 15 minutes so sobrang aga ko lang talaga so ako lang talaga yung nandito so we need to answer that phone call for like someone that phone call for someone kasi they're booking an appointment so yun na so one of the things na na natutunan ko here in this pandemic being a business owner na nakasalalay sa iyo yung livelihood ng isang tao yung mga workers mo employee mo so i've learned so much here in um like you, during the covid quarantine whatever sobrang life lesson a lot of things happen and i am really grateful to have like some partner na nandiyan para sa akin to be like my you know because like sometimes you get depressed like during this time and you have to think about like all the things that you have to do kapag like now like we just reopened like ano ba yung mga dapat gawin so we can get back on our feet and yeah so i hope like you guys um even though like you know even though like nakikita niyo ako na sobrang happy all the time i just want to tell you na hindi ganun lagi every day so madami daming madaming mga struggles ang mga stylists and like the and mga owner ng mga salon because it took us a long time to before they let us reopen so, madami struggle. So, ayun nga, yun lang. I just want to share it to you guys. And I just want to say thank you then kasi madami sumusuporta sa akin from the very start. So, sa mga 
Pangulo, yung nasa mo support, ah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Kasi ma-appreciate ko talaga yun. Because I really want to help a lot of people here and there in the Philippines na ma-discover yung passion nila about hair. And if you have any questions about cosmetology or anything na naisip mo lang, if you just wanna color your hair or anything, you have to, you know, and then you're confused kung ano ba yung mga dapat gawin, just message me and just message on comments like on YouTube or like Instagram or PM me. You, there's a lot of ways to like reach me. So like, just don't forget to like hit that notification bell button. Because I'm going to be up updating everyone sa mga susunod pang araw about a lot of things about me and about air. Because here in CHU, Casio Vulture is Hair University. We're going to be non-stop talking about hair. And I'm gonna be here for you guys to answer all your questions. So I hope you guys are doing great and stay safe and healthy. And goodbye for now. See you again later.